All right, today we're diving into AMD's latest innovation, Fluid Motion Frames 2. This cutting edge technology is designed to enhance your gameplay experience by delivering incredibly smooth and responsive visuals. It's almost like downloading extra frames to your game. Currently only available through a preview driver, AMD Fluid Motion Frames 2 is exclusive and not yet widely released. In this video, I'll guide you through the installation process on your Legion Go, and then we'll put it to the test in Streets of Tarkov to see its capabilities in action. About two weeks ago, AMD released Fluid Motion Frames 2 as a beta preview driver. I've already tested it on a budget-friendly $800 build, and the results are very impressive. Having previously conducted numerous tests with Fluid Motion Frames 1, I can confidently say that FMF 2 takes things to the next level. Many people are cautious about frame generation technologies like Fluid Motion Frames due to concerns about added input latency. From my experience with FMF 1, if you're starting with around 80 to 100 FPS, the extra latency introduced was minimal and generally unnoticeable, even in fast-paced multiplayer games. The improved visual fidelity and smoothness from the extra frames made it a worthwhile trade-off. FMF2 builds on this foundation by delivering even more frames with virtually no additional input latency. With FMF2, the benefits are clear. You get more frames and nearly imperceptible latency, making it a win-win for both performance and visual quality. Alright, so if you want to try this out on your Legion Go, go to Google and search AMD FMF2 or click the link in the video description below to get to AMD's FMF2 info page. Scroll down and click the link for the Adrenaline Preview Driver 24.20.01.02 and download the file. Alright, next open up File Explorer and go to your C drive. Go ahead and delete the AMD folder in your root C drive. And then go ahead and run the Preview Driver installer file that you just downloaded. It should begin unpacking the files and then actually come up with an error message. This is normal. Go ahead and close the error message. Alright, next open up your device manager, navigate to display adapters and you should see AMD Radeon Graphics. Right click it and choose update driver, then browse my computer for drivers. Choose let me pick from an available list of drivers on my computer. Select AMD Radeon Graphics, have disk, go to browse, go to your C drive, AMD, AMD software installer, packages, drivers, display, WT6AINF and you'll see a file called U045532.inf. Go ahead and click that and open. Hit OK and you're going to select Radeon 780M Graphics. Hit Next. Say OK to the warning message and wait for the driver install to complete. After you've completed the driver install, go to your installed apps list and go ahead and uninstall AMD settings. This will remove the current version of Control Center on the device. To install the new version, go to your C drive, AMD, AMD software installer, packages, drivers, display, WT6A INF, B405374, and then in here there's a file called ccc2 underscore install.exe. Go ahead and run that. After that's completed, open up your start menu, go to all apps and open AMD settings. And you should have the updated AMD Control Center like you see here. Navigate to the Gaming tab, select Escape from Tarkov, and turn on the toggle for AMD FMF2. I also like to turn the color saturation up and turn on image sharpening as well. Currently, only the AMD Adrenaline overlay reads FMF FPS properly. Other software will not register the FMF frames. Since this is sort of a workaround install method, it looks like there's some compatibility issues with the overlay and the Legion Go. It shows vertically instead of horizontally, but it still shows the FPS. To enable the Adrenaline overlay, go to the Performance tab, select the metrics you want to display, and then go to Overlay choose your visual options and then you can enable it from this menu or hit Control shift o for the hotkey all right so on to the gameplay i'm running the legion go in performance mode thermal mode is in performance smart fan curve um what else um, 1900 by 1200 resolution 144 hertz the native frame monitor is off for game settings, I'm running 1900 by 1200, FSR 2.2, ultra performance, low, low. Streets lower, texture mode on, no post FX. So I'm running a scav here on streets. Hovering between 40 and 60 FPS around here. You can see there are some dips when I turn quickly. But overall, Still feels pretty good for being on the Legion Go. 
And I'm hitting around 60. I know some people that are on desktop that aren't even hitting these numbers, so I'm not really complaining being on this device. As I go to the end of Klimov Street, you can see I'm even above 60s here. Hitting 70 at some points. It feels really smooth. The added input latency is almost non-existent. As you can see when I move the joystick, the response is there almost instantly. It's like there's no added input latency really. Now is this ideal to run into PMCs? Probably not really, but for scav runs, it feels just fine. For stash management and things like that, I mean I wouldn't have any problem taking this on the go and getting stuff like that done. So. I think it's really impressive to see the level of performance achievable on handheld devices on streets of Tarkov, especially when some desktop users struggle to reach even these numbers. As software and AI continue to advance, we can expect even more improvements in gaming on handhelds, and I believe that in the near future, people might choose handhelds over desktops for gaming. While we're not quite there yet, the rapid advancements suggest that it's only a matter of time before handhelds can match and even surpass the capabilities of desktop systems. I believe handhelds are the next big thing in PC gaming, especially as companies seem less focused on pushing the boundaries of desktop hardware. While desktop systems are becoming more efficient, they aren't really seeing significant power advancements and the industry's investment is shifting towards AI. So that's all I got for this one. I hope it was helpful, informative, or entertaining in some way. If it was, please make sure to leg meta the like and sub buttons with some green tracer rounds for more content like this. As always, thank you for your support through your views, comments, likes, and just time spent watching my content. It truly means a lot to me as I continue my journey towards making content a full-time thing. Alright, it's back to the grind for me to make more useful content for you. See you in the next one.